But I wanted to take this session just to quickly introduce the Fossey Foundation because uh, we have noticed that we occasionally talk about us and what we are doing, but we, don't, we didn't really give you the full picture yet. Uh, so I just want to, for those of you who don't know us, give you the background and what we are doing. So we, like, we in a sense of the, the main core group that's doing it, which is now the board of directors, we, we all come from the open risk community. Right, so we started like 10, 15, 20 years ago working on open source silicon, contributed to the Open Risk project. And we are all from the background, we are professional engineers, uh, we work in academia, or we are just hobbyists um, that it just came through the whole thing. And what happened is that we weren't really happy with the state of opencourse.org at this time, right? So if you followed it and it's a very long project, like we could talk for hours about the history of open course and uh, the community and what happened and so on, but essentially like after 2010, 2011, it just stagnated and those of you who know it, uh, just until recently, it was just not maintained anymore, right? So we were not really happy and we wanted to change a little bit how the community works and wanted to keep a little bit away from single points of failures, which are companies that own like the domain and the community. Uh, but instead, we started organizing our own community meetings and thought, yeah, it makes sense to have something that's more co on, a, on a more control of the community. And this was like, so we started organizing in 2012 was a, an open risk meeting. And in a year after, uh, we had the first conference about open risk uh, called Open Risk Conference. And then after the years, we changed the name to, OR, uh, to OrConf, which is our main event that we organize every year. Um, so we got a little bit rid of the open risk focus, but instead it's like open source digital design and its ecosystem. This is everything we cover there. And it has been constantly growing and we started doing other events like this one. Um, and then we decided in 2014 that it makes sense to incorporate some legal body that owns domains, that owns uh, all the assets and not a company, but, um, but instead this, this uh, non-profit organization that we needed. And this is when we, uh, for one thing, came up with a name and then also incorporated formally as a non-profit company registered in the UK as a community interest company. And those community interest companies, they, as the name says, they, they have to work the, towards the interest of a community, yeah, which is in our case the uh, free and open source silicon community. And it's asset locked, so it means um, everything we own, we can't just transfer out of it. So, it's, it's a very good, robust body to, uh, and for example, low risk is organized in the same kind of, um, kind of company. Um, it's, it's a very robust organization if you want to protect something from like particular interests that you don't want. Um, it's an entirely volunteering thing, like everyone who is there does it in their free time or sometimes as part of the, like instead of working, they, <laughs> they spend time on doing posse stuff. But we have a volunteering board of directors. We are seven directors currently, plus a secretary. Um, and we coordinate all the stuff that we are doing. And we have multiple committees where we involve other people to help us out on the activities that we have that I will just shortly present you afterwards. And this is our website, and you can find more info there. Um, so we have the mission. I think everyone in the room agrees to it because this is, I think, I assume this is why you're here. Yeah, so the mission is that we want to promote and support open source silicon, right? And um, this is like more or less our, um, our manifesto that we had in the beginning. Uh, so we want to support the community and we, we don't, we, the essential thing is we, are, we don't ha do engineering. Yeah, we are activists in some way um, that want to make sure that people find each other and people come together and projects progress, right? Um, so we have main activities. Uh, the main reason we actually started in the end was that we launched libercourse.org. Um, and along with it, something um, that I person personally find very important, and I think uh, Oleg will also talk about it a little bit, uh, is the libercourse continuous integration, which is based around uh, Jenkins and the idea of bringing your device to the, and connect it to libercourse CI in the end so that we can distribute uh, continuous integration of all participating um, uh, people. And so this is all going very well, and this is why we started it, but we immediately spawned out to other activities. And uh, one of our central activities, and this is also what we reflected uh, yesterday, was that 
at the time that we started, um, the licensing situation around open source hardware, when you speak about silicon, was essentially broken. And one of our mission, uh, uh, missions on the agenda is to fix it. And I think we're nearly there now. So we, we are pretty sure on the permissive side. And we see CERN OHL, with, um, uh, which we support strongly and where we cooperate with CERN and uh, moving it forward. Um, and we think this will be announced then at OrConf. Um, and we think we are getting to the point that we at least can say, okay, this mission is accomplished in a way that we have licenses and now we can discuss about which is better and whatever. Uh, but generally, this is what we want to do. We don't want to tell anyone to use copyleft or we copyleft or permissive, but we want to give you the licenses or recommendations for licenses that we think work, right? And to my surprise, when we started, this was a very essential task. Uh, besides this, we are stewards of a few standards and projects, for example, the wishbone bus. Um, we are the, the stewards of the specification. We make sure that it's uh, maintained. We now have an, a round of an update of the current spec, which is mainly fixing ambiguities and so on. Um, there's a few other things. There's a few new things coming up uh, soon. I think Dave spoke about mBench. This is currently the plan that we also steward it, uh, this one. Uh, and where we have the most contact with actual people is the community events. So one of the community events is what you're attending now. It's uh, Bosch. Um, we had Ledge Hub for the first time in the US for us uh, in, in Portland uh, earlier this year. And later this year, we have our main event where everything evolves around, um, which is OrConf. Um, one thing I want to note is not really like an essential activity of us, but we are regularly participating in the Google Summer of Code as an umbrella organization. So if you have a smaller project and you want to participate, you can come to us and we do all the organizational overhead uh, that comes with it. And we help you getting like a student dedicated on a project during the summer of code, which is like where Google pays a stipend to a student to work on your project for three months, which we believe is very good and it was very helpful. And the most important aspect to us there is that we have a very good conversion rate of students to become community members and persistent maintainers, right? And we see it as a very good recruiting uh, platform to involve new students. So I'm nearly done. Um, oh, this is very big resolution, but um, OrConf this year will be in Bordeaux in France, uh, last weekend of September. So OrConf, contrary to the other events, uh, especially this event, is always on the weekend, yeah, because from our historical background, this is when we had time to attend such events, right? Um, it's usually Friday to Sunday, uh, 27 to 29. The registration will start soon, um, including the submission of, of talks if you want to. Uh, please visit our website and please attend. As all our events, they also are free to attend. Uh, maybe a good reminder, all we do is usually free and uh, we want to uh, encourage collaboration, but we have sponsors, right? Uh, they support us, they pay for the coffee breaks, they pay for the lanyard, stuff like that. Um, if you want to support us, you can do that, for example, by giving a donation and getting a shirt, which is like my last reminder. I don't want to harass you. Um, but please consider buying a T-shirt in return for a small donation uh, because it helps us a lot organizing other events. And like a lot of time goes into fundraising for sponsoring, right? And if we get donations from the community, we don't want to rely on it, but... It's very helpful. So please consider this. Um, yeah, meet you there. I think that's it. Thank you very much. And yeah, I want to start the session.